Hello everybody, we come to use Focus Digital Bangojet UV printer. Let me introduce the let, let me introduce the printer for you. When you get the machine, you will get a package from Focus Digital. And you will please check each pass. This is the user manual. To get you how please make sure you fully understand each each function and each information before you use the printer. Then you, you will get the, the brush to do the coating for the hard, hard luck the medium. And the syringe to load the ink. And the clean tissue to for print, for clean the print head surface. USB, USB cable and installed already. And two extra black ink damper for UV, UV ink using. And the transit tool box for clean the printing head by manual and the USB dongle for focus rip. And before you installation the printer, you need to prepare the screwdriver and the angle screwdriver. After that, you need to check the printer if the printer is working well, if the printer is packaged well when the machine you get. So first let me introduce the machine for you. This is the wall view of our focus package UV printer. So the left one is the ink holder for hold each ink. The package is eight color. It's for yellow, magenta, cyan, black, white, and grues, grues or vanish. And this is the ink tube for each color. Each color, each tube have the digital mark here. The, this mark is same as the digital mark here. You touch it. It's same as the mark of the carriage. Here. And the USC is total eight total ten tubo. Eight eight color eight color ink tubo is for each color. And this big one without the mark is for white ink separation. One sec work output and one input to the white ink tubo. To the white, to connect with the white ink tank. And here you will see is Extra, extra cable. This one is the general data cable for connect with the LED control system. And this two is the LED light power cable also connect with the LED control system. This extra two is the wet ink cooling system separation tube. One for out, one for in. Okay, so let's go to the front side of the printer. This is a flat bit for printing, for hot printing media. It can be up and down, front and backward. When you open the cover, you will see here. This is the carriage. The carriage for the carriage you will see is total eight color, so it can it can print as uh, yeah, full color ink with white ink or with varnish or with a spot color. And this one is the white ink saturation cooling system for the LED UV light, the yellow one. And also this one is the power cable, the black one. Is the power cable for the LED light. Okay, so here you will see you will see here is the detect sensor for the LED light. 
when the printer moved here, it did they detect by the battle, they already let it be on. When it move out, they be off. Or, or positive or negative. And from here, if you see here is the transparent one, this one is the ink coat film for the Epson printer. This is the belt, this is the rear, and here is the cap station. Here you see that this, this two is the cap station, and here this one is the this is small rubber, black rubber. This one is the wrapper for Epson printer. And then we go to here. You will see here. The red one is is upper limb the sensor. Each side have each one. This for left side detect. This for right side detect. When I have something block the flatbed, it will be stop the flatbed. Okay, then we. This is the control panel for Focus Pango Jet UV printer. And this is the LCD screen. And this one is the general power button for the wall printer. Let me go to the left side. This one, the, the green, green one is for the switch, power switch for the white ink saturation. This, the, the red one is for, is for print head purging cleaning system. And this is the waste ink tank connect, for, connect from the cap station. This is the waste ink tank. When you open the window, you will see here inside, this is the purge head cleaning pump. Then we go to the back side of the printer. This is a general power port to connect the, the power. Please be make sure the printer the, the print power is 110 or 220 voltage. It's ask for spark stitch for details. Do not do not load the wrong electronic to damage the printer. And this one is a USB cable port. Okay. Uh, then we go move the flap it to the front. You will see here inside. Uh, this one is the double rear for the flap it. And this one is the backward limb the sensor. When the print, when the carriage, uh, when the flap it move to the back side, and it's detect. Uh, when the flap it move to the move to the back back backward, and it will be stopped by by the limb the sensor here. So this is the backward limb the sensor. And the electronic system, the Epson main board, Epson power board, and the focus control system board is inside of the inside of the printer. You need to screw up, screw the these screwdrivers to open the cover to see the electronic system inside. And also from this angle, you will see is the aluminum profile for the body and the the both screw four both screw for the print for the Flap it up down motion. Okay, so this is the general uh, instruction for the Focus UV printer. So before you do a printer, you need to you need to prepare the medium. Before you do the printing, you need to prepare the medium for printing. For example, I need to print on the metal, so you need to use. The coating, focus coating, and the brush. To coat it on the surface of the metal. Must be smooth. Also, you need to, you can use the the uh, spray. Spray gun to spray it for more equal. After you brush it, you need to make it dry for 10 minutes, or you can put on the heating system. Then, you we need to uh, when you get the machine, you need to test if the machine is working well. Without loaded ink, 
So first you need to put the power for the print and put the power for the UV control system. Then power on the general power. Power on the general power. Then you will see this is the up motion button for the flatbed. Up, move, move up. And this small one is for move with a little, little bit for for fine adjustment. And this one is down motion for the flatbed. May press again. We will stop. And this one is also the fine adjustment for a little bit to move down. And this one's inset is for backward to the end of the bracket. This one's forward to the front. And it will, it will also automatic stop by the limit sensor here. Inside, if you see a limit sensor for front limit sensor. Then it automatic stop. Please remember before you power on the top printer, the, the ready you see here is the ready angle. The ready is a ready ready mark. The ready mark is means for the, the power switch for the top Epson printer. So before you place the ready, you need to make sure the flap is, is moved to the forward to the backward already. So you need to you can press auto so the flap bit will be moved to the end automatic. Then we, you can press the online button. Then the top printer will be start mo moving to for self testing. And the flat bit will be start to move out. And also here from the control, pa control panel system, the LCD screen. You can see the digital number is changing. This, the, the first one is the encode position for the flatbed. The second one, the digital, digital number is for the position for the carriage. Okay, so when, when the ready light is not flashing, but, but keep read all the time, it means the top printer is working well. So then we need to uh, load the ink. I will start printing next. So we press also again to move the flap back to the end. Okay. So after test each function, also we test the in pumping system, if it is working well or not. The wet circulation system is working. The push button is working also. So after test each function is working well, then we can start to load the ink to the printer. Before you load the ink to the ink damper, you need to connect each cable to the ink bottle. And then please pay attention to the digital mark on each cable. The digital mark must be the same as the digital mark on the carriage here. Carriage here. It will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The digital number number here must be must be. Uh, After we check the, the the mark on the cable is correct, then we start to load the ink to the ink damper. Please pay attention to the ink flow for each 
in example, from eight to four, four five, four five six seven eight. This 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 four cable is for this four tube is for load the white the color ink. From left to right is yellow, magenta, cyan, black, and the red four is for load the white ink. White, 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 white. But if you want to use the vanish, so you need to load the vanish to the first one ink damper. Okay, so before you load the ink to the ink damper, you need to power off the machine. Make sure the machine is power off. Then we take out the ink damper from the print head. Use the syringe. Connect with the ink damper. Then put the ink damper at this angle to load ink from the ink tank. And also need to be sure the cables connect with the ink bottle already. And load the ink. You need to load five milliliter ink for each damper. After load finish. They're waiting for seconds, maybe three seconds. Then connect, hold the damper like this. Do not press the damper on this side because if you press here, the ink will be leaked out to, to leak to the print head, to fire the print head. So we hold the ink damper like this. Then connect to the ink damper here. Okay. You will see here the down fun the, this one is a print head, so you need to put in the damper this one this hole connect with the the female hole on the print head and also here have the position pull here. So here have a position hole. This one must be connect with the ink damper with the print head correct. Then we start to load another one. And please be sure each color use different brand new syringe. Also loading load ink from the ink bottle at the same way to load about 5 equilite ink for each other then connect to the print head and make the position where and I'll load each color ink at the same way for color for YMCK wet 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 or vanish here Okay, after you load the ink, just move the carriage to the home position by hand. After you load the wet, after you load the ink to the print head, then we need to load the the water for the LC, the, the UV control system. This one is a UV control system from Focus Digital. Here is the output water port, this input water port, and this C1 and C2 is the power cable for the LED light, and this one is just a knob for the LED power, LED UV power. And the front top, this one is the, the block for the water saturation, for load, load, the, wet, load the, the ink, and this one, back set, is a general power for, for the LED control system. So, first we, know, we need to load ink, uh, uh, sorry, to load the water to the control system for water separation, for make, make, 
the core, the print, print head set of the LED light. So must use the mineral water. Then we load in, load the water. Do not make too full. About just about two thirds is enough. Then block it. Fasten it. Then we connect the USB cable. We connect the the water cable, water port. Find out. The water cable, the water tube here. One is for out. This one, this two tube don't have output or input mark. Just the uh, connect for these two is is okay. Then we store the LED UV light power cable. Also, just connect with the C1 and C2. Press down the faster. Okay, then we store the data cable. See here is the angle here, must be installed like this. Push to the end, then fasten the screw. So the UV LED control system installation is finished. After finish, it must be like this. Then we need to test the LED light. First one is power on the machine. Online the printer. When the machine power on finish, then press the flap to the end, press the auto. We power on the general power for the LED control system. When you power on it, to be check the LED light is lighting. It's power on. So it's, the LED light is working well. The UV light is here, and the water saturation to check if any position is leak water. To check if it's too, if all the water is saturation. 
and also the here it's not leak leak water. And also when you adjust when you adjust the power for the LED light, the light is changing. So after test we we will find the focus UV LED control system is working well. So after check everything is working well, we need to uh, to uh, test the printing for the printer. Before you print on the media, you first need to print on the paper to check the nozzle. If the other nozzle is working well, if all the nozzle is jet in. So you just need to move out the flatbed. Use a blank paper to put on the top of the flatbed. Then move, to, move in the flatbed. So here must be pay attention. Do not move to the end because we need to make sure the the media, the thickness of the media of for for the for anti scratch print head. So we just move the media on the sensor position. Move, move, move it on the bottom of the sensor position. Then we start to press up to make the flatbed move up to check if the media can be stopped, detected by the limb sensor. See here, it automatic stop, and the top top limb sensor is the power light is on means the working the limb sensor is working. Must be sure the gap between the media and the surface of print head will be about three to five millimeter millimeter. millimeter. Then we go to find out the absent driver system for your computer. Find out the driver, find out the printer, and find out Epson Flash Photo R1800 property printing unity to check if all the ink tank was detected or already or not. Then we go to the setting of the, the driver. First one is the main. We use the photo or best photo. And here the source, paper, paper option source must be sheet. Must be sheet. And the type is plain paper. The size choose default. Put Thirty two centimeter and the height fifty centimeter and save it.
Then choose this size. Then we go to the ones. Click off the high speed. And the page layout, maintenance, keep default. After load the ink to the printer, then we go to another check. Press another check. Press print. Then the printer start printing. For the another check, you no need to power on the LED light. Okay, so after print, you need to check the print schedule for the print nozzle. If the print at the nozzle stereo like like this, it means it's ready for print. If the print is stereo like this, you need to do a power cleaning. So you need to press the cleaning button here to to press to make sure, make the ink pump out from the ink ink damper to the print head, then to go to the waste ink tank. Press this button for push cleaning out the ink from the ink damper to the print head, then goes to the waste ink tank to the waste ink bottle here. Do this for several times, then do another check again to make sure the nozzle print out is working well. After doing another check, then we can start to print the media. For example, we print on this metal. Also, the same, the same way, we need to move out the flat bit. Then print the, the printed media on the top of the flat bit. And then move down to adjust the print thickness. Move the flat bit to the bottom of the limb sensor. Then stop. Then press up limit to make to make it automatic stop. Then stop. It's a bit for safety, just uh, make a little bit down to protect print head. After adjustment, then we go to the end. Press auto. And I also need to make sure to check about by eyes again to be sure the gap between the media between the media and the print head surface is about three to five millimeter. Up make sure it's safety. Then we go to 
the rib. So just first insert the USB dongle for the focus rib. Then open the rib. First choose a file. Unit centimeter. Print the outside revision. 3050. Put the left the red guidelines. Must click on. Then load file. Open to load the picture. The picture must be PSD or PNG file. If you don't want to print the wide ink position, you need to make it transparent from the from focus strip uh, from Photoshop. After you load the picture, you need to go to the lay first go to the layout. Set the width, 32. The height, 50. Print the position, middle. After that, we go to the printer. Choose Epson. Photo, select photo R1800. The port, choose the USB, the port that, in, that installed with the Epson driver. Saburo, so start printing immediately. Check paper size off. Resolution for white, 1440 depend on the depend on the resolution you want. The color the same, the same, must be sure the resolution for white and the color must be the same. The image tab, choose photography. Feeding sheet, must be sheet. Speed, unit selection. Dot size, small dot. White angle dot size, choose large dot. Then go to color. Here, choose YMCK with full white. Ink limit, choose 50 or 40 for color ink. And white ink 100% or 120. Maximum is 200. And ICT profile, choose ICT profile. Use the focus ICT profile. Then we go to white. Where the legend initial must be 100% wet under any color pizza or gradient. When you choose 100%, then you click the wet again, you will see the image become wet. So here means it will be printed out a wet layer as this. And if you choose gradient wet, it will be become gray. And let go to positive. Normally we use 100% wet and any per pixel. After that, which with the black handing, remove black ink and the wet highlight, just click off. And then we set the wet channel setting. Choose all on. And then we go to the output size. For example, we print by 20. 
Okay, then we start print. First, if we want to print on the black media, you need to print the white ink first. Then we choose print. Then we go to white ink setting. The zero means off, one means one copies. Maximum is one, cannot put two or three. For here, if we want to print white ink, you just choose on CH1, CH2, CH3, and it choose off the CH4. Then after print white ink, you click off one, two, three, and click on the CH4 to print vanish. So for example, we want to print white, white ink first, then we choose CH1, 2, 3, then start. And also the color setting must be choose zero to, to make it off. So by this setting, the print will be start to print white ink for three ink channel, then start print. Before you make print, you need to be sure the printer's power printed online, online button is on and the flatbed is moved to the end already. Okay. And then we pop on. Also, we need to make the LED lights on. Go to the white layout. Click print to print white ink first. The color setting zero. Click print. Then the printer starts to print a white ink layer. Print the white layer, do not touch anything. Press the auto button again to make the media with the white layer go to the backwards and then automatically stop. Then we print the color ink on the top of the white ink. We go to print, but do not change any setting. Just change the white setting zero and color setting one. Then click print. Then the print start to print the top color ink. Other print we will see the white ink and the color ink all up in the finish. So for now, if you want to print the vanish again, you also need to press backward again to make flap it, move to the front, move to the end. So if you want to print the vanish, 
so just do not change anything, just go to the print. Then, white setting 1, choose off 1, 2, 3 ink channel, choose on the, the first ink channel, and choose off to 0 for the color setting. White highlight, choose off, set copies 1, choose print. But now it's pretty vanish. Print finish. This other print result. So for right now. The instruction for the printing is finished. Next, we will teach you how to do the daily maintenance for a printer. So after the finished job, you need to move the flatbed to the end, move off the medium from the flatbed, then pop off the UV LED control system. Then press clean to let the package move out. Then you need to prepare. Find out the syringe. And the transit tuber. Connect like this. After the cartridge move out, then power of general power. Then you can move freely for the cartridge. It will be not locked. By the cap station. Find out the plain clean solution here. Push about two or three millimeter for the head clean solution. Then fill in for the both cap station here and here. Then use the clean tissue to clean all of this, the round rubber and the cap station, and also the wiper. Must clean it as brand new. After that. Pop on the machine. Press the head clean pump. Then also fill it, and the ink will be sucked out to the waste ink tuber. Press it to push out the waste ink tank, waste ink from the cap station. Make sure it's brand new. After, after cleaning it, then you fill in some head clean solution on it. Then move back the carriage to the home position. Make sure it's not it's not moved. Then power off the general power. And cover it to make the dust free. Okay, everybody, the instruction for focus pango jet 
UV print is finished. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank <laughs> you.